So the use of, of analytics and, and different technology, sabermetrics, um, you know, really trying to analyze the way that the game is played has become a huge part of baseball. And our affiliate, the Houston Astros, are, are really on the forefront of, of that. And, you know, trying to, um, to think a little bit differently and, and come up with some, some best practices. So uh, as we're looking to improve here and improve the operation, we figured, uh, why not learn from the best and go right to, uh, to one of the sources? So it's pretty common for people to think that, um, you know, the launch angle is actually lower than they expect it to be. Um, you really got to get back further. And like, so like zero to five degrees is what you're at right now, but okay. we, we really want to get much higher than that. And like, you're, you're just not going to get the results that you want doing it this way. You got to get a little deeper, squat okay. with your knees a little bit more. Yep. You know, like it's, it's a common, it's a common mistake. A lot of amateurs make it. It's taught the wrong way, yeah. you know, growing up your entire life. But um, we really got to get lower. I mean, look at this. There's still plenty of room in this area for some torque. So I almost want to touch the ground. Yeah, I mean, and like, and you really like, you see how you're like just bending forward? Like, you got to get your hips back in this situation. And um, get as much tension on these rubber bands as possible to let it go. Like, that's good. You're happy with it. Look at the face. But we can do better. Yeah. Like, we can absolutely do better. Fair point. See, like, you got a little ahead of yourself, and over here, you thought you were rock and roll and doing well, but, like, this is where those poor movement patterns catch up with you, right? The inconsistency is the problem, and it just... It shows. Yeah, that's embarrassing. So, like, we don't want to have that happen in front of 5,000 people. And then, like, now you're flustered, right? Like, you're flustered, you can't... My approach is gone. Yeah, now we blew the balloon up, like, you didn't even get down, now you're, you're scrambling at this point. All right, so that's pretty much it. So um, be here early tomorrow for work. Do you have any questions or anything about this whole thing? <clears throat> no, I mean, it just one more time. So why, why is the actual launch angle so important in this? Dude, there's a 40-foot net in front of you. That's a good point. That's a good point. Minor League Baseball is all about development. On the field, they're always trying to get the players to the next level. And we're trying to do the same thing with our staff. We're trying to get them to improve day by day. You know, really, I think if, if we can get these guys to stay in the zone, to throw strikes, not waste words, it's going to be mu that much more efficient. And I think the staff's really going to take to it. So when I first started in baseball, I'm standing down in the dugout. And this guy's just standing there next to me. He just starts talking to me. I see he's wearing a coaching uniform, but he wasn't one of our coaches. Well. I just had the conversation, kind of walked away. Lo and behold, it's Tim Raines. How dumb could I be? I'm standing there next to a future Hall of Famer at the time. Now he's a Hall of Famer, of course. But how could I be so ignorant? This guy's famous, but we still had this great conversation, right? And we're just sitting there and... What if it rains? That's a great question. Have I ever told you about the time that I met Tim Raines? Tom, so there I am. Tom, Tommy, you've reached your word count for the day. I gotta make call of the bullpen. You're done. You're up. Yeah, it's supposed to look really good for tomorrow. Word count? Word count? You can't count and limit the words in a story. Another uh, important initiative by Major League Baseball is to improve the, the pace of play uh, within the game. So um, Commissioner Manfred and, and the folks at, uh, at MLB have taken some practices to try to um, speed things along. And you know what, we thought that that could potentially help within the office as well. Jess? Mm -hmm. My group increased by five tickets. Okay. You want me to send you an email? Yes, please. All right. If they change their group number, do I need to redo the contract and resubmit it to you? Yes. All right. Guido. What? You don't ring a bell every time you come in here. Oh, sorry. Um, one of my groups wants to change something on their menu. Okay, that's a messy question, not a ticketing question. Yes, ma'am. Every day, Snyder comes into the box office asking question after question, four, five, six visits a day. Doesn't he realize it'd be a lot more efficient if he had one visit with all those questions into one tiny bubble? It would work out better for everybody. Sorry, I forgot I didn't have to ring the bell. Jeff. Time, time, time! You used your max amount of box office visits today, sir. 
You serious right now? Yes. I need to talk to my. No, no, you're done. You're done. Get out of my you're way, done. Sam. You're done. You're done. It's blue to you. You know, if they're gonna limit my visits, I don't know how I'm gonna prioritize my questions. I have way too many questions. But you know what? I'm just gonna call her. I'm just gonna call her.